Sharika Jackson, Daniel Williams, Antonio Watson, Jamaica, the giant killer. Jamaica amasses a huge medal haul at World Championships 2023. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at them. We break down to races. So, ready? Yep. Yeah. Good to go. Well, we yesterday we saw the end of World Championships 2023 and what an incredible championship it was. Jamaica, the land of wood, water, gorgeous people and immense talent. Well, we landed up fourth on the medal table. Now, to put this in perspective and context, the largest medal hall that Jamaica has ever had was 13 medal halls at World Championships, and this was some 10 odd years ago. So to end up with 12 um, medals is a huge deal. And Jamaica is truly a giant killer for the obvious reason. All the persons in ahead of us in the medal table, we are in at number four, are in countries way bigger than Jamaica. In fact, the United States who tops the medal hall is where well, you could drop Jamaica in almost several of the states at least two or three or four times. And America has a population based on their last, um, their last uh, stats of 325 to 330 million people. Jamaica has 2.9 million people. USA has endless resources and Jamaica has limited resources. So when I say Jamaica is a giant killer, there is no exaggerating that statement. We are incredible. Now, to break down the medal hall, Jamaica picked up three gold medals. Of course, we all know about these medals. Well, if you know about track and field, Sharika Jackson in the women's 200 meters, Daniel Williams in the 100 meter hurdles, and Antonio Watson in the men's 400 meters. In fact, Antonio Watson broke a massive record. Jamaica has not won a gold medal at the World Championships in 40 years in the men's um, 400 meters so that's incredible as anticipated the united states topped the medal table with 12 gold eight silver nine bronze 29 in total canada second in with four gold two silver no bronze medal six in total spain third four goals one silver um and their fifth uh, five medals in total and jamaica came fourth with three gold medals five silvers four bronze 12 medals in total. Of course, this is about the quality of the, of the medals. Jamaica was ahead of the likes of Kenya, Ethiopia, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Uganda. Now, on the placing table, this, of course, is measured, I believe, by points. Jamaica was, in fact, second with the three goals, five silvers, and four bronze medals. The only person ahead of us was the United States, which, of course, you already, I already told you, 12 goals, eight silver and nine bronze medal kenya is behind jamaica then great britain look regardless of how you look at it all these countries are way bigger than jamaica both econo economically in terms of population etc now of course the most exciting gold medal most people have thought you got was this one by sharika jackson in the women's 200 meters setting a new meet record and running the second fastest 200 meter all time and astounding 21.41. Women's 200 final away. Sharika Jackson, excuse me, Shakari Richardson on the outside has already been passed. Here comes the world champion Jackson. Sharika Jackson into the home straight. She has put her stamp on this event. She's going to go back to back for Jamaica. The first since Marlene Honey. And she crosses in 21 41. Then the former world champion from 2015. Well, she did it again. This one, of course, was unexpected by most. Daniel Williams of Jamaica running out of the farthest lane. I think it was lane one. One the women's 100 meter hurdles bringing home gold to her country and herself harrison third from the right hand side but it's devon charlton who got the best start now she's clapped at the hurdles trying to come through williams running really well on the far side kenny harrison trying to get in the mix so to camacho quinn it might 
Then, of course, in the men's 400 meters is the aforementioned Antonio Watson. In the final race of the World Championships, Jamaica's women's 4x400 meter relay team took home silver. Then, of course, Sharika Jackson in the 100 meters took home silver. Hansa Parchman, out of nowhere, took home silver in the men's 110 meters hurdles. Then, of course, Wayne Pinnock took home silver in the long jump. Then, in the women's 4x100 meter relay, we also took home silver. In the bronze department, Shelly and Fraser Price in the 100 meters took bronze. Um, Rochelle Clayton took bronze in the women's 400 meter hurdles and Tajay Gale took home bronze in the men's long jump final. So Jamaica walked away people with an amazing medal haul of 12 medals and I know that some of you are disappointed and the truth is we here at Peter Lloyd World we had actually calculated 14 medals. The two additional medals that we saw um, had been to be very frank with you. Rush, um, Rashid Broadbell in the men's 110 meters hurdles and you know what happened he crashed out and of course Jaden Hebert so we thought we would have walked home with 14 medals we thought we would have landed in total four goals we did not see the Danielle Williams gold medal coming I'm not gonna lie to you the truth is we thought she would be in the top five when we saw in the in the semi-finals and she ran that PB we, we did think Oh, maybe she can medal because she's peaking at the right time but we didn't see her get winning gold so the truth is we have a lot to be proud of um, 12 medals um, you know number four on the medal table behind three massive countries with with huge resources and um, way more popular. just 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 terms of the basic statistics Jamaica is truly a giant killer um, the Americans tremble when it comes to track and field in Jamaica. That's a fact. Uh, those who are going to hear me say that are going to say no. But <laughs> this is the first time America has won a gold medal in the women's 100 meters in over a decade. And America is the wealthiest country on earth with 325 million people. And if we are not a giant killer, I don't know who is. So just wanted to um, bring you up to speed how well we did we did extremely well second biggest medal haul in jamaica's history at world championships the biggest is 13 and um really really proud of these athletes and yes jamaica is a giant killer yeah people tremble when we enter the track that's no joke but this of course is my two cents um let me know what your thoughts are did you predict 12 did you predict 15 or 14 or 9 what were your predictions? Secondarily, let me know if you were disappointed in the medal hall or if you are happy with the medal hall or if you are ec ecstatic about the medal hall. Um, which gold medal of the three shocked you the most? Which gold medal we didn't receive shocked you the most? Now, don't forget to hit subscribe button, hit notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, your kings and queens. Bless up!